Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rucker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you this really awesome rotating text transition effect and that's right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So once you've got Adobe Premiere Pro open we can begin with this effect and to begin we first want to start by creating a brand new legacy title. So we'll go file, new, legacy title. So once we're inside of the legacy title window, we can just press the T icon and select the canvas and then we can just type out whatever word we like. Now I'm going to start with hello. This is a five character word and you want to increase the size of this, change the font, increase the weight and make this quite a large font. Now, once you're happy with the look of that, we can exit the legacy title window and we can just drag that on to video layer one. Now from here, we want to go ahead and generate a brand new title again. So we'll go back into file, new, legacy title. And this time I'm just gonna put another five character word. I can't think of one off the top of my mind. So I'm just gonna do T, 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 T. So we've got T five times. It's really important that the two words match up the same length. So if you've got a five character word to begin with, you want to finish with a five character word again. Now, as you can see, because those five T's aren't quite as wide as the hello, I just need to add a little bit of separation between each character. So I'm pulling on this VA button at the top here, and that's adding a little bit of separation. Now you want this title layer to be roughly as wide as the first title layer. And once you're happy with that, we'll just center that up. We'll exit the legacy title window, and we'll just drag that on the right of the first title. Now from here, select the first title, that's the hello title. We'll go into opacity and select the rectangle mask. Now move the rectangle mask over the first character of that word. And then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a copy of that title layer. So hold down option on your keyboard, select the first title and we'll drag that up to video layer two and that should make a perfect copy. Now we'll move that mask over making sure that it only covers the E of hello. So this is the second character. And then we want to keep repeating this process over and over again until we've got the whole word spelled out and each character has their own layer and mask. Now, once you've done that, you want to go into the effects tab and you want to search for basic 3D. Drop basic 3D onto the very first title layer. So that is the H of the hello. And in basic 3D, you can see that we can adjust the swivel, the tilt and the distance to image, but we only want to focus on the tilt. So we'll go roughly two seconds into the video and we'll create a brand new keyframe on tilt by pressing the stopwatch icon. Now we'll go to the right six or seven keyframes and then we'll pull the tilt to 90 degrees. And as you can see, that's going to animate and disappear. Now from here, you just want to select both of those keyframes on the tilt. You want to right click on one of them and then you want to press ease in and that's just going to smooth out that animation. Now from here, you just want to copy the animation from the H and you want to paste that onto the E, the L, the L and the O. So select basic 3D, hold command C and then you want to go into each of the other title layers and hold command V to paste that in. And then once you're happy with that, we just want to offset each one of those characters by a few keyframes. As you can see, I'm going to go over 10 keyframes to the right, and then we'll pull two, three, four, and five over to the line. Now we'll move to the right another 10 keyframes, and we'll boost the top three layers over, another 10, top two, another 10, and the top layer over to the right. So this means they're all going to slowly animate out. But because we've pushed it all over to the right, Unfortunately, they're staggering in and staggering back out. So we just need to extend the duration of all of the clips over to the right and over to the left to make sure they all match and they are all the same duration. Now, just so we don't get confused, I'm just gonna label all of these layers. So all of the hello layers, I'm gonna select all of those, we'll right click, go into label and select mango. So all of the title layers that are mango are for the hello animation. Now from here, we'll go and find our second word. So that is the title 24 in my example. That's the TTTTT layer. And we'll drag that onto video layer six. Now we're just gonna scroll our cursor over the video and we're gonna find the point where the first character, that is the H, is halfway through its animation. And once you've found that point and you've got the cursor over that point, 
you just want to turn off all of the hello layers. So we'll select the eyeball on all of these layers. Now like we did for hello, we just want to go ahead and create five different masks of this word. So we'll go into opacity and select the rectangle mask tool and we'll create a rectangle mask around this first T. Now keep doing this process over and over again until you've got five characters all split into different masks. Now we're going to drag basic 3D onto the first character of the second word, so that is the first T. We'll drag that and then we'll adjust the tilt to negative 90 degrees and we'll create a brand new keyframe on the tilt. Now we'll skip forward 10 keyframes and we'll pull the tilt to 0%. And then like we did before, we're just going to select both of those keyframes, right click and go to ease in. So if we turn the first title layer back on, you can see we've got this really awesome animation happening. Now, if you don't want the two title layers to be directly on top of each other, then all you have to do is offset the keyframes of the second word over to the right just a little bit. So we're going to pull the keyframes over to the right. And that means those characters are not going to be sitting on top of each other. Now, once you're happy with this, all you need to do is copy basic 3D and paste that onto all of the other characters on your second word. And then as soon as you've done that, you successfully completed the rotating text transition right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. If you haven't already, then please do not forget to subscribe. I upload a brand new video every single day for you. So if you want to learn some awesome filmmaking and photography tips and tricks, then make sure you subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with everything that I upload. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow.